This is the worst way somebody has ever died, and whatever you do, never look up the picture. This is Asachi Auchi, and he became the most radioactive man in history after a lab accident. On September 30th, 1999, the 34-year-old Hisachi and two other co-workers were working at the Takamura nuclear plant in Takamura, Japan, and they were put on an extremely tight deadline by their superiors. The plant converted uranium hexafluoride into enriched uranium for the purposes of nuclear energy. This usually involved a carefully timed multi-step process, but Hisachi and his co-workers attempted to take a shortcut to meet their deadlines, but this led to a horrific explosion of uranium solution that turned into a nightmare for Hisachi. The plant underwent emergency evacuation and the three men were immediately rushed to help. They all had been directly exposed to harmful radiation, but to different degrees. The sole survivor of the group was exposed to three sieverts of radiation, the second one was exposed to 10 sieverts of radiation, and Hisachi was exposed to a whopping 17 sieverts of radiation, which was more than any human in history. And by the time Hisachi arrived at the hospital, his body was already covered in burns, and his eyes were leaking blood, but his agony had just begun. Three days after the accident, Hisachi was transferred to the University of Tokyo Hospital. Hisachi's lack of white blood cells and his non-existent immune response prompted experts to try a number of procedures to save him. Doctors tried countless skin grafts and blood transfusions, and even stem cell transplants, but sadly, none of these seemed to work. Hisachi soon cried out, I can't take it anymore, I'm not a guinea pig, just after one week of treatment. But although Hisachi begged for his death, his family insisted that doctors kept him alive to keep trying experimental treatments. Hisachi's skin began to melt off his body, and even after this, his relatives ordered his doctors to do whatever it took to keep him alive. All in all, Hisachi was kept alive against his will for a disturbing 83 days. At one point, he suffered three heart attacks in one hour. Following the guidelines from his family, the doctors resurrected him again and again. Every time he died, he came back and suffered extreme brain damage. And on December 21st, 1999, Hisachi finally died of his last heart attack after multi-organ failure, and it was only then that his torture stopped. You really can't fathom the amount of pain this man was in until you see the photo of him. He doesn't even look human and kind of looks like an insect. The radiation poisoning is that bad, but I really don't recommend you look it up. But if you do, while you're looking at it, keep in mind he was kept alive for 83 days in that state. Could you honestly imagine what was going through his head and what his body was feeling?